Mmm, it's an orange juice. Royal Delivery is a three elixir common spell that uses Code OJ. Three elixir spell that does 318 damage, which is a little bit more than arrows. It can only be cast on your side of the arena. The impact of the spell has a radius of three tiles. This is the same as freeze and clone spell. The royal delivery can hit both ground and air. It's got extra punch because it also has knockback. Just a quick reminder for anyone that doesn't know anything about knockback. Knockback is one of those few mechanics in the game that interrupts and resets attack frames back to zero. There is a long delay in the spell. It's made like a rocket from cast to impact. It takes three seconds, so timing and placement is key. It can knock back the same units that Fireball can knock back. So we're talking wizards, balloons, baby dragons, but not big boys like giants. The log is legendary and only its magic can stop charging princes and knock back larger tanks. I'm talking to thick tanks. If your opponent has a big ball coming, the Royal Delivery can deliver a pretty big punch to the units from behind, especially for all units who would normally die from arrows. It's kind of like a mini Mega Knight spawn arrows kind of thing, and you have a mini tank to help clean up the rest. All Swarmies, including Skarmy, Goblin Gang, and even Minion Horde are squashed instantly. And with its three tile radius, it'll be hard to miss. Even a bridge planted princess can still be hit by the royal delivery. The three tile radius just reaches the tip. The rascal girls get annihilated with the royal delivery impact, leaving the damaged boy to be cleaned up by the recruit and tower for a positive elixir trade. You'll want to cast a spell at the last possible second against single units in order to preserve as much health to the royal recruit as possible. If there are swarmy tanks like barbarians, you'll want to cast it as soon as possible, damaging them as much as you can before they get too close to the tower. This gives you time and space for your tower to finish them off. If you have no other choice against the Mega Knight, you'll want to cast it on him when he starts his jumping animation. This is because it takes time for him to jump, and either way, the Royal Recruit has a shield to absorb the first hit. This is the difference of losing your tower. Against the Battle Healer, you'll want to cast it at the last possible second to not only preserve the Royal Recruit's health, but also to do as much damage as possible to the healer before she heals from hitting the Royal Recruit. With its knockback mechanic, the Royal Delivery can completely stop the battle run. You'll want to plant it as soon as possible to keep the Barbarians as far away from the tower to clean up. It's not the perfect defense, but it's pretty useful dropping it on the Ram Rider. You do have to be mindful of the terribly slow delay and master the timing to prevent that Ram Charge connecting to your tower. Timing the Royal Delivery can seem really hard to use at first, but that's only because the animation is really weird and it has that 3 second delay. If you break it down, you just have to drop the Royal Delivery 4-5 to five tiles away from slow and medium troops. For fast moving troops, like a mini P.E.K.K.A., you'll want to drop the Delivery about 6-7 to seven tiles away to land that perfect knockback. Then, you've got very fast troops. This one makes me a little uneasy and a little sweaty, but you can perfectly counter wall breakers if you drop them when they're seven tiles away. Not very often does a spark become in alone, but if she ever does, note that the roll delivery not only stops her, but survives without a shield. That's pretty juicy. You can completely shut down the Dark Prince and absorb that first hit with a shield while taking off his shield, allowing the tower to clean up. The Lava Hound Pups will get wrecked if you can time it correctly. Remember, timing and placement are key. All Fireball units such as the Musketeer, Electro Wizard, and even the Wizard can be completely stopped using Roll Delivery. Because of its knockback, the Roll Recruit gets a stab in with the Prince's Tower, preserving the Recruit's health 100%. You'll want to plant it right on top of them in order for the Royal Recruit to reach. This is one of the best cards to stop Goblin Barrel with. If you can react instantly, not only can it stop it completely for an equal elixir trade, but it can stop tricky barrels if you plant it in the back. Even if the barrel is being tanked for, the recruit can defend the barrel, then defend the tank for a very positive elixir trade. 
With the knockback from the roll delivery, you can use Tornado to pull the balloon to activate the King Tower for an equal elixir. Spin. Not only did the Miner get nerfed this update, but now with this new card, you can knock the Miner off your tower and retarget onto the roll recruit. Sorry, b -Reb. Supercell really challenged you this season. Using roll delivery with the log can completely stop the roll hogs from connecting for an equal elixir trade. The bridge planted bandit requires fast reaction. And when I say fast, you'll want to cast the roll delivery as soon as you see her in order to catch her before she can activate her dash. This is the same for Goblin Barrel. Any hesitation will result in three painful stabs. That's 297 damage to your tower. Now that's a lot of damage. Fast moving units deployed at the bridge with range like the Dark Goblin, the Magic Archer, and the Flying Machine cannot be stopped by the roll delivery in time without taking some damage on your tower. The absolute worst card is the Cannon Cart. It will connect and it will lock onto your tower before you can stop it. And with its new 5% buff all around, you'll need to have something else ready. Using the roll delivery to defend Graveyard isn't a bad idea. Just wait a bit till the skeletons gather. The radius is enough to clear your tower from any skeletons and provide a good tank to defend the remaining skeletons. But you do have to wait a little bit. That's the difference between 100 damage and 1000 damage. Once one of your opponent's tower is destroyed, you can pocket plant the roll delivery to tank or even predict building plants. Buildings such as Mortar and Expo can't be hit by the roll delivery and is probably one of the worst spells to have against these types of decks. A lone recruit will only get one hit on you, but it has to be at full health. It simply isn't meant to be used on offense, but more on defense and possibly into counterattack if you have the right deck. I can see it working for bait decks, graveyard decks, and even balloon decks if you wanted to use it on the counter offense after defending. Overall, this is a very unique spell similar to the Barbarian Barrel, where it does damage like a regular spell, but then spawns a unit to defend and counterattack. The cool thing about this is that it has knockback and it can hit air. The only drawback to the spell is it's kind of like the Barbarian Barrel. It can't reach the tower for direct damage. Also, the whole dropping animation can be fixed a bit to help us see a bit clearer. That 3 second delay is kind of weird. It's a bit long and it takes the same amount of time anywhere you plant it. Unlike the rocket, which is based on the distance from the king tower and where you shoot it. Overall, I love the new card and its mechanics. Let me know what archetypes the spell has been working for you guys, and if you guys haven't unlocked it yet, what decks you think it will work in. And for real, I do read every single comment. Comment down below, even if I don't reply, we read it all. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It took us a lot of work to do it. Again, if you want to support us in more than one way, if you use code OJ in the shop, if you buy the season pass or any of the other deals, it really helps the channel. With so many possibilities with a new spell, I don't know which deck it's gonna fit in, but let's figure it out. If you go to deckshop.pro, they will always have the coolest new metas in there. Roll delivery with splash yard, golden beatdown with roll delivery, lava loon. I'm liking this one. This one's interesting. Wall breakers, they haven't been nerfed. Mega Knight's always hard to deal with. Let's copy this deck. Copy to deck five. I don't know. I kind of like deck five. Supercell, you need to add 20 more deck slots. For, for things like this, I don't want to delete my deck five. This 2.6 deck is invaluable. All right. I mean, we're gonna need some Fs in those comments for that uh, 2.6 deck. So roll delivery is boosted to level 12. Wait a minute, that's this is my mini. All right, we're on my main account now. Uh, heck, I like all of these. Oh, we can upgrade the roll delivery. Heck yeah, we will. How do I have so many? Level five, level six. All right, because I got 80 from the shop. Nice, but it's boosted to max. Let's try this out ladder. Oh, freaking heck. I'm 5761. We're gonna actually gonna be against good opponents. I have no idea how to play this deck. Have mercy on me! We're gonna split the wall breakers because there's no there's nothing you can counter wall breakers with. Except a cannon. Ah, freaking heck. Alright, let's drop it down. Oh! Did y'all see that? I I interrupted <sighs> that that hog ride. Oh my goodness. Just amazing. All right, roll, roll delivery. Tank for my miner, yes please. Perfection. Uh, miner, I would. Uh, it would be great if you stopped hitting that uh, an ice golem. We'll do a musketeer in the back, and I'm ready for our hog rider push. There we go. There it is. Oh, perfection. With the musketeer, that's gonna be rough. Let's do wall breakers in the other lane. Oh, I knew it. Oh, that's a connection. Oh, wow. 
He's defending very, very well. That's going to be some free hits. This deck counters the 2.6 pretty decently. We've got Mini P.E.K.K.A. We've got the Mega Knight. We've got the Roll Delivery, which is not bad, but you have to spend a bit more Elixir if you want that Hog Rider to deal a lot less damage. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going in. He's, I'll, I'll tank. Uh, where, where are them Skellies at? Oh, all right. I might just do a roll delivery on that musketeer then. Uh, nope. We gotta go straight in. No damage. Jumping on there, we're gonna split the wall breakers. Where's the cannon at? There's the cannon. Boom, boom. Musketeer, up. Oh. Almost. She gets one hit, two, two hits on the tower. That's money in the bank right there. Oh, I'm sorry. We got... No! Roll delivery! I hope that miner goes on the musk... Uh, no, it didn't go on the musketeer. All right. We're going to have to do the musketeer a little bit higher this time. It's double elixir, so we're going to have to react appropriately. I'm, I'm digging this. Uh, I'm fine with that. Our musketeers are going to cancel out. Let's split our wall breakers and see what's up. I'm, I'm waiting for that skeleton. You split wall breakers are money. Oh, holy heck. That's great right there. Roll delivery is going to stop most of it. Most of it. I'm throwing this game. That was a lot of damage. We, we just ignore that musketeer on the right side. Same thing. We're going to split the wall breakers. We're going to tank for it. I'm okay with those skeletons. Oh, dang it. Uh-oh. That hog rider is going to get one hit. This is a negative elixir trade for me. Misplays. All day, every day. Not quite what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. All right, let's do the mini P.E.K.K.A. I know he's going to want to hog rush me. Let's cycle there. Do the minor in a very risky spot. Cycle the zap. That one push where he did 2,000 damage. We don't talk about that. We had the whole game. It was all under control. And I panicked a little bit. But I really feel that the Royal Delivery was a really decent spell in this. I liked it. I like the feel of it. Heck and heck, look at that. We're almost at 5,800 again. You know what? Let's let's collect these. Because I, I get the Royal Deliveries in here. It's all just going to be star points and gold. 4.9 million feels bad. We're going to get 40,000 gold, 1,000 star points from this. Don't even need this legendary. If you could give me 100 world recruits instead, that'd be great too. World delivery. World delivery. No world delivery. Ah, 500 world deliveries right here. Boom. 40 gems. Wow. It pays to climb. Maybe you should actually climb more often. Nah, that, that, that's tilting. World delivery. No world delivery. All right, the next world delivery is at 6450. Level 7, level 8. Wow. You could get it to tournament standard if you climb to 6450. Huh, that's easy. You just have to be top 10,000 players in the world to do that. Well, no. This month, they did change it. For this month only, trophies only deflated 25% instead of 50%. So this is the time to push. The only time to push. But that's going to be for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The world delivery is going to be super fun. Seriously, let me know in the comments down below what you think this deck is going to work in, what you think it's not going to work in, how good it is, how bad it is, if you think the animations need to be changed. I read every single comment, and so does Seft, the editor. Even if we don't reply, even if we don't heart it, we read every single comment. So please, please, please let us know what deck archetype you think is going to work in this, because I'm kind of curious myself. But that's going to be for this video. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting this channel. This tech video does take quite a long time to make. So if you do use code OJ, we get a small kickback from that, and it makes everything worth it. Even if you don't use code OJ, if you're using any of your favorite creator codes, that's going to be super cool, too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.